didn't launch yet. We have two hours left from the time of this recording. But if you go to the in-game, the user support in the news section, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. So why don't we just look at this? We have pre-registration rewards. Uh, we did reach 1 million. So we're going to get a bunch of spirit crystals. We're going to get a three-star character prim. Um, then we're also going to get memory gems. And then also awakening orbs. And I believe this Benevodon spirit is for skill upgrades. And then this is for the mana board upgrade. So that's that. Then we have what? EM... EOM Bulletin. Layer of Landition, there is a lot to learn to get you started. This is the important stuff, so you won't get lost. Barry, pay attention. <laughs> I'm a newbie too. Wait, this. These are said and done to wrap the nervous around the head. No need to worry, child, man. I'll teach you. Okay, so this is pretty much like the basics. So, cruising the main quest. Up, the, up first is the main quest. On search for a mana sword, you have to buy head first. Okay. Each difficulty of the level to see how far you can go. Even if you lose, you can play the ones you cleared. And replaying those quests is worth the AP. You can always get EXP to level up your allies. Okay, so you still get drops. Uh, don't forget, you can get harvest tickets from login bonus too. If So if you harvest a powerful ally, make sure they're in your party and get lots of training. So pretty much talking about retraining units. Yeah, you just just go hard the first first month or so, right? For three months, however long you want to play. If you're gonna play, you might as well go go hard. <laughs> All right, the mana board building. So this is similar to Dragali Lost. You have the mana boards, right? You go up the circle, the mana circle. Uh, boss is tough. You can tough to get mana board. Mana board is too important to pass up when training your allies. So it give you like a lot of stats. They even give you a story. So some of them have lore nodes in them and you unlock it you can see the story and i'm i'm assuming they give you spirit stones when you unlock that one too just like in dragalia um to get the coin you need to pick up the alter vigil for that coin element so you can also get coins to unlock unlock the mana board spirit coins do you mean you get your own coin i'm not sure what you're implying but the last time i sheep <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Okay. Event invaders. Event get unlocked for us. Uh, events are worth stopping by. You can collect points by clearing quests and trade them at the event point trader. So they're going to have event shops. So later we're going to see that on the 29th, which is where I think the English live stream is going to be, there's going to be an event that's going to drop. Right? So, if you were hard enough, you can unleash them and making them awaken. So, this sounds fun, right? Events, of course. Exclusive memory gems, too. Oh. Um, some of these quests say co-op. Have you noticed? So, these quests higher level and the others take it from your guide to cooperate. Yo, thanks for the follow, man. Um, but these events are... Yeah. These events... Hmm. So some of them are co-op, some of them are like basic events. So you got a co-op with others. Do you hear that, Honeycomb? Does that sound fun? Yo, we're gonna we're gonna have some carries. Yeah? I'm gonna do my best to carry, okay? I may not be the best carry, but I'll do my best. Um, that's what I did in Dragali a lot. I was technically the the baiter and I was a master. So you, you can combine those two words. <laughs> event co-op quests are only available for a limited time, so make sure to check the news for details. Uh, gear gathering. All right, so um, in Dragalia Loss, I'm just gonna pair Dragalia Loss. A lot of systems are the same with Dragalia Loss. You get a weapon and you get a dragon. Here, you just get six gears, right? Like helmet, uh, armor, uh, whatever. The gear is nothing except eater, and and this is similar to also to Epic Seven where you gotta probably RNG for it. Yo, thanks for the follow. So you can get your hands. Uh, some gear from chapter 3. So after you unlock chapter 3, you can get gear and then you can like, you can also upgrade your gear. Right? And then, um, it looks like the pre Path Dungeon 2, since the gear are co-op quests, you best to find, yo, grind gear, pretty much gonna be like endgame stuff, right? Grind gear RNG. Try to get like the min-max your gear up. Alright, ideal power pushing. All right, let's see what else we got here. Silly man, there's more to yet to learn. Like what? Sorry to say, but training 
in and one of itself is smug, nothing to smug about. There's a hard difficulty, okay, and high level difficulty quests soon. You claim to be expert in whacking valleys, but there's a small fry and you get stronger. Alright, I'll do my workouts later. Uh, these baddies are a whole new level. And you're on makes challenge worth it. So this is I'm excited for. Like when there's like challenges like this. I'm, I'm gonna be excited when this happens. This game's dropping in like hour and a half. Now. Alright, so. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this. So the bulletin just like, it's kind of like. Telling you a story, but telling you how the game works in story format. <laughs> like a comic, right? Okay, so now we have daily training quest available. Let's look at this. Can I click on this? Okay. So three times a day, you can do ally upgrade, memory gem upgrade, and money. This this is the money, lucre. I know it because I play Trials of Man, and that's the money. So that's gold. Pretty quest to get Ethereum tombs. Um, so you can. I'm assuming it's you combine them three times a day, or can I do three times each? Like for. Let's say memory gem ally and then money. I'm assuming it's from what I from the way they word it, they make it sound like I can do the three times of a combination of these. But I could be wrong, because that seems too little. Like I feel like maybe it'll be three times like money. Most likely that's gonna be three times money, three times memory gem, and then three times ally upgrade, and that's all you can do, right? And then you gotta wait for the next day. Daily reset. What is this? Can someone trans um figure out the UTC time for this? I I am on the NA region right now, the Americas. And then we have highlight. We have a tower here. Play hot. Oh, this sounds fun. You get this is where you climb a tower. New floor be added. Yo, this, yo. And it's the event point trader. Uh, clear certain floors to earn spell shards that you can re for rewards at the trader. You get a five star crimson wizard flaming dark al magic ally. Oh snaps! Here we go. Yo, this is the boss. This is the um, that one boss, uh, the wizard boss. I I'm on PST. So this guy does magic damage. All right, and his skill also does more magic damage. Um, so special technique magic skills magic increases in in turn magic, um, but you lose you lose uh, stamina <laughs> or constitution is what the word is. Um, then we have fire boost. So support skill increases fire damage for him and pair ally, and then of course the regular ST gauge, similar to Eden. Hope. I don't know. We'll see. So you can get one of these and you get more of this. So you can get uh, more shards and stuff. So you get a dupe. Yeah. So that's exciting. Now we have Spirit Crystal Sweep. All right. So here we have uh, Play Crystal Sweep. And the first clear, you get 200 crystals. So this is for summonings. So if you want to get these uh, crystal for summons, clear all the quest missions, you get six, up to 60 more crystals. That means you get up to 260 for this limited time quest. Okay, so it's just a limited quest. It's probably, it's probably going to be short. Um, so seven days only. So this is for the people that want to pay money, right? This is what I, yeah, this is what's going to give you a pack here. Ally Echo Pack. Purchase seven days on uh the seven days only. You get two thousand four hundred and fifty crystals, and then you get a free five fifty crystals. You even get a free four star ally ticket. You use the ticket to harvest one and get a four star ally echo. You get a free four star character. Free to pay. That's oh, that's the that's the opening package. Uh, you get you get two thousand of the paid one, and then you get free one right here. You gonna buy that? <laughs> this look pretty nice deal. Um, does it have a cost? It doesn't say what the cost is yet. But 
There's that pack. Seems like a pretty nice deal, depending on what the price is. It's probably gonna be nice because it's the launch launch package, right? <laughs> Just for more pulls. All right, so we have this release celebration harvest. For release kind of, you can harvest what you can harvest one time for three hundred, and every ten uh, only costs two thousand seven hundred. So you save a free pull, right? And that that includes one free harvest. So you get eleven. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, right? We'll see how much it costs. So technically you get 11, so you save 600 from what the wording is. If you choose to harvest 10 times, you get a three-star ally guarantee. I mean, that's a general thing, right? The release celebration harvest includes the Duran and Riz, right? So this is, uh, this is from Trials of Mana. I feel like I'm going to say their name wrong. I'm butcher all the time. Even though I play the game. <laughs> the future ally echoes have higher chance of appearing than other four star echoes. All right. So we have four star echoes. I want her. She, she's great. So you see physical damage as special technique. And then physical damage here. And then also buff herself. And then also buff her um, special technique. And then she has... Uh, Support skill that on special technique. So when she casts this, the her ally gets skill damage. Oh, okay. So it's a temple. Okay. This just said that includes the one free harvest. So I guess you save three hundred then, right? Not six hundred. They they, they worded kind of weird because oh that includes a free harvest. All right, so here we have Duran, also from Trials of Mana, okay. Uh, physical damage, physical damage here, but, and then lowers their defense. The target loses their defense. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let me double check something. Let's go to this tower. Oh, he does, okay, so he, he actually does lose his, um, he increases his int, but he lowers his con himself just want to make sure okay <laughs> but duran he uh he increased he does the damage and he lowers the enemy's con so lowers their defense and he has the skill to increase con and gain sa then we have st gauge which is special technique what's sa actually that's that. Oh, we see his stats here. Oh, yo, let's check his stats. Okay, let's see. Let's see his stats. HP. It's kind of hard because I don't know what the base is on. Um, so. But look at his 888, man. Let's compare with this physical. So Dora has more strength. Riz has more int. And more luck. And I'm assuming more spirit too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, and more con? <laughs> so the ran just had more strength to do more damage. Uh, also more H and more HP. So on his other support skill, he can increase the, the special technique damage of a pair ally. Yeah, so pretty much memory gems are technically like worm prints in Dragalia. Then we have Sumo. Alright, I, I don't think I played this game, but physical damage boost also heals. And you can pick a target to heal. Then we have a Horic Shield, which gain SA and then also gain con to himself. Now of course um support support skill increased the, the gauge. Right, so he's gonna start off with um 100% gauge. He can just go straight up and just do the special technique. Then he also have another support skill that buffs himself. On special technique, gain SA and normal damage. So he seems like a he's gonna like do like normal attacks with this. Pretty nice. They have uh what Popoy? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Alright, we have a 
Boomerang. Okay, boomerang deal physical damage. Okay, so the special technique does physical damage. And then the skills do magic damage. <laughs> and then the self here increases int and increased spirits. Then we have, of course, start off with um, you can start off with special technique when you start the level. And then on special technique, you can heal of uh, RCV. Restore HP. So depending on your recovery. Then we have Angela. I do want Angela. Because I use Angela and Ritz uh, in my Trial of the Mana run. So I, I want to use Angela for an upcoming for this as well. Magic damage. And then Ice Smash magic damage. And then Limit Break increases her in 25%. So I feel like the Crimson Wizard increases it more. But he's going to take more damage, right? Her is just like safer. Of course, a lot of these have like the, the initial start gauge. So you can instantly just do special technique. Um, then we have when full 150% or higher, you do extra damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Four stars is technically the highest you can summon, but you can also promote them all with six stars. So the only thing is, I don't know if if you, if you get a three star one and then you promote them to four star, is it the same thing as getting that? Let's say I got a three star Angela and then I promote it to four star. Is it the same four star as this Angela? I don't know, right? Right now, it seems to be the case. Unless they have like a different uh, magic, like if the name is different, right? So the title here is what dictates what kind of um, unit it is. So if magic power in bloom, right? Let's say you don't get magic power in bloom next. You get like Grand Diviner Angela. That's a different unit, right? And it's going to be different abilities and stats and stuff, right? Yeah, usually higher nat stars are better, but I don't know if that they're doing that here. If they have the same title, it's probably going to be the same. I don't think they have jobs. So I, I watched the live stream, right? They don't have a job. They said all the new job classes, the class changes. Um, they're going to be going to be separate characters. That was like a live stream, like, like a month or so ago. So we have Shiloh. Um, so this is, this news is in the game. You go using support and news. So special technique, we have physical damage. Um, also another physical damage. Th looks like it's gonna be three hits, and then we have uh, gain SA and gain con forty five percent. So of course initial special technique gauge. Then we have him. He's gonna buff himself and then also the peer ally. Um, special technique and restore HP. So whenever they do a special technique up here, they're going to do recovery. All right. After recovery rate. Yeah. These, these seem generic enough right now. They're like the base form, right? If you were to play the game, this is like the base form. They didn't release like the later classes. Um, these are the memory gems. So these are technically the worm prints of Dragalia lost. Okay. So this one seems pretty good, especially a lot of these start off with, um, Standard standard techniques straight off the bat and usually these are pretty nice They don't tell you how much like I don't know. I don't have there's no wiki or anything, right? Because the game didn't come out. We don't know how much percentage for each of these level boosts are right But I'm, I'm pretty sure since these are like the ones where you actually gotta, you know Charge up over time. It's gonna be a lot. So these are usually good for those It depends on your play style, right? If you like to just burst damage, this is good and then we have this one, which is Mount Heal and Normal Attack, which which ties in with Sumo, right? Sumo has this kind of kit right here where he has heal and normal damage. But this is also good if you run like a uh, healer kind of class too in a co-op, maybe, depending. <laughs> yeah, I wish they maybe like find a way to like merge that. Who knows? They technically, that's their plan right now is to have classes as new characters but because they gotta find a way to make you gotcha again though right so yeah they gotta make money somehow this one is a very solid one this is probably gonna work on a lot of characters because this is just straight up skill damage doesn't matter which character you use magic physical 
this is probably going to be a very solid memory gem to have in general. So if you get sort of a buff, yo, you can just put on anyone. I don't understand which when, while feeling inactive. So this is probably for the the your your paired unit or whatever. Because then when you swap out, it'll recover MP. So this is good. So um, you have your character. So the way the game works is um, you have your character and then you have a sub character, right? Which is your pair ally. So I guess when you swap, you swap um, the the pair ally to the one in front, and then the one in front will go back to the, becoming a pair ally himself. It will recover MP every ten seconds. So you, this is kind of good if you um, do a lot of casting and stuff like that. And if you swap often, for me, I just want to play as Kevin and just not swap. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the game goes. We might have to swap anyways. All right, on star gauge, 70%. I don't know if this stacks though. This this seem kind of... Because, okay, so this one may not be good for the for the four stars here, right? Because a lot of these four star here already start off at 100. And then here, you're already, you're getting another 70. So do, do you get 170 or you just cap 100? That's... Uh, I don't know, man, right? I don't know. We have to see how this game goes. We don't know much about the monetization yet. Mega Spirit Magic Damage. Technically, I don't know what this is, but from my from my guess, I'm I'm guessing is that uh, you get a spirit to actually do your big, big, big PP damage, right? Just like just nuke your spirit. Actually, I do know what this is. I've seen this. So in, in the battle, like each character has their own um, elemental spirit with them, right? Like if, let's just say, Shiloh, he gets, he gets Shade, right? He gets Shade, so Shade will come in and do that damage. Um, Angela will get you Dean, Eudine will come in and do that damage. So um, that's, I guess that's like the dragon in Dragalia, in a sense. Get ally using trader points. So every time you harvest, so this is like, is this like the pity system? <laughs> Is this, is this like a is this like a pity system here where you get like you don't get you don't get a pity for the thing but then if you get enough points you could just straight up just pick one. Yo, did I click on this? All right, let's let's see. All right, trader points. The points can be obtained by harvesting echoes. All right, uh, one point each, 10, 10 points. I mean, technically it's one each. These trader points uh, where they appear, they expire. They have expiration date. Okay. So Tenny is kind of pity, but it doesn't carry over. Rabbit coins, trade for items, uh, and more to trader. These rabbit coins do not expire. So trader points expire, rabbit points do not expire. But Harvesting Echo. So yeah, you can trade. Okay, so this is kind of like a pity system here that I'm seeing. Alright, did I miss anything else before we move on? Alright, these are the rates. Alright, so if you guys are curious about the rates. So these are the rate ups. Trader allies. Oh no, these are for oh, okay. These are special for for this trader. <laughs> Technically like a pity. Uh okay, so we have Harvest one, you cost three hundred. If you harvest ten, you save three hundred. We still have. Let's see. Look at the time. We still have an hour and ten minutes before the the game opens. Yeah, two hundred points. So we need to do two hundred summons, man. <laughs> You're right. That's like two hundred, two hundred points, two hundred summons. All right, so let's look at the rates here. Four star to get an ally. It's 1.5% for the feature ally. So technically you have, you have 4.5% of getting a four star. That's a lot, that's a lot. Damn, that's a lot of gems. Um, it depends on how long the expiration is. 
It says right here it expires the six by six. But I don't know. Do they have other allies with this? Like this is only for this ally, but maybe they have other ones on here. We'll have to see when the game drops. All right. So four point five percent of getting a four star. I'm including the memory gem though. Uh. So we have what twenty twenty one. 21% of getting a 3 star and then 70 74.5 of getting a 2 star the rates aren't too bad too bad they didn't separate them into different like a memory gem is a different thing and then the ally is a different banner do they say that here? I don't know if they said that here Worm print, yeah, that's like the galley lost, yo. <laughs> Messed up my worm print. All right, so these are these are the the um, what's this? Regular base table, one harvest, first through the nine harvest. Oh, this is from one to nine. If you do a ten pull, then it just oh, this is for the the tenth one. So you same thing, four point five percent, and then um. Everything else is three point is three star, right? You four point five to get a same rates for that. So pretty much everything here combined into this. All right, individual ally gem rates. I mean, you this thing you can like look at yourself, but it looks like yeah, the four star ones of course are technically double the rates. The four stars on on the banner like the the banner units. Um, this is double the rates of all the other four star here. Sumo Angela Poppy Seed. Yeah, it'd be easier. Oh, do they have Luggar in here? What about, not baby Luggar, right? <laughs> uh, three star, they're all the same rates. Two star, 3% each. Uh, memory gems. Let's see what we got here. All the same rates. 0.25% for each one. Uh, same thing with 3 star 0.3. Uh, 2 star 4%. Dupe system. So the way the dupe system work is that it level up the skills. If you want to if you want to promote a unit, you need awakening orbs. I technically don't know where you get awakening orbs yet. But um, so far, we're going to get 100 right off from the pre-registration stuff. So this, oh, so this is the 10th one when you get the guaranteed. Pretty much just combining all of them, right? Everything else. All right, we're going to, we're done with that. So we have a campaign right here. Starting from launch and ending who knows when. <laughs> um, log in for the... So these are the login bonuses. So we get day one, we get an instant four star. You get a you get an instant four star. Maybe you want to reroll and say you want a different four star unit. <laughs> Before cost, I think it does. I don't think it costs a hundred. I don't think it costs a thousand. Um, but let's see. You can also get four thousand crystals and many more items. Okay, I mean, the day one, yo, day one, yo, that's. Do they know we're re-rolling here? Is, is, are we gonna re-roll? <laughs> just put everything in the first day and everything else is just like mediocre. <laughs> this is... Uh, we, and we don't know when it ends. Clear the newbie missions to grab the rewards and they have a bingo style thing too, huh? Um, complete the newbie missions and you get cream, right? And then this... And a sweet into a six star ally. I feel like they would. Right, so as long as you, you the pre reward should happen. If it's like any other gacha for the pre uh, launch bonus, it should carry on the rerolls until you know whatever the event expires. So, so this is also we don't know when it's gonna end, right? <laughs> one time spirit packs on sale. So, these usually are bonuses, right? For one time, and then the regular packs are usually less. 50 more to pity. 
All right, and this is the event that we already saw earlier that is going to happen on the 29th, which is pretty much seems like the English live stream is when they're going to have this event. They're dropping this. Um, they have normal and hard our co-op quest where you team up. So I'm getting ready. It's happening in an hour and five minutes from this recording, <laughs> right? And on Friday, we're going to, I want, I want to do this, uh, most likely. I will stream it. If not, it'll be the next day, right? So for sure, I'll be playing this. Co-op is pretty much up to three players, just like all the trials and mana. And then, yeah, I'll that's that's all the news that they have so far, all right?